Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I killed a paper pad. I killed this Love Nicole Aquarelle paper pad. It had 48 single-sided sheets, and I got this a few years ago at uh, AC Moore, and uh, it was on uh, it was on sale. And it's a beautiful watercolor style paper pad with lots of different patterns. And uh, it made some really lovely cards using some card maps and some card sketches. Now, I started working on this paper pad in January. And I did a rolling or a chronological count of 61 cards. But I only have 55 cards with me here today. So that means that I either mailed out some cards, gave away some cards. I don't know what happened to some cards. But I only have 55 to show you today. I'll start with these cards right here. I made this in January using self-adhesive laminating sheets and gilding flakes. Um, I used some of the paper from this paper pad in the laminating sheets and I threw some gilding flakes on top of the paper. Then I laminated it and I cut out some sentiments. It's a beautiful paper pad to do this kind of technique with. I'll uh, put a video in the iCard section to the upper right uh, of the screen and you should be able to see the video where I show you how to do that. I cut out a ton of sentiments using the laminated and gilded paper. Uh, this is thanks, there's hello, uh, this is thinking of you, and etc. And uh, those first three, four sentiments were from Love Nicole that I got at AC Moore. And I don't recall who this happy birthday is. I think it's Poppy, Poppy Stamps, Poppy Dies. Um, but it's a great die. It contrasts really well with black underneath with this particular paper. I made those cards sort of ad hoc without any particular plan. But this next set of cards, which is the most recent ones I made, I used this particular uh, card maps, the one on the back and the front, uh, for this next set of cards. And this particular map is a really great map to use for all those odds and ends that you have left over, all those strips that you have left over. I added some butterflies that I had made with alcohol ink and vellum and also gilding flakes. These are some sentiments that I made for the Smash Our Stash collab. I think it was in March where the theme was April. Uh, it was April where the theme was Brad's. Here's another one where I used another one of those sentiments uh, that I had left over from the um, laminating sheets and the gilding flakes. And another. You can follow a map or a sketch to the letter, or you can just follow the basic idea and then add your own embellishments. I like making embellishments, uh, lots of embellishments ahead of time, and you'll always find something that they'll go with, especially if they're simple sentiments, like the black and white ones that I'm using. Um, I made these sentiment embellishments using the same paper pad, so I got to use it again on these cards. On the other side of the map was this other sketch, and um, here's all the cards that I decided to make. I used some washi tape instead of paper in the background. Again, you're just gonna follow the general idea of the sketch. I mean, you could follow it to the letter. Sometimes you don't have enough brain power in some days to do anything different, but um, I wanted to uh, make do with what I had instead of creating the cards exactly. Here's uh, one card that I made with all the leftover strips that I had. This is called Serendipity Papers, and uh, I got this from Lindsay Wyrick, the frugal crafter, because she did a video on this um, at the beginning of the year, maybe, or last year, at the end of the year, where she uses lots of different strips of paper, and she calls them Serendipity Papers. So, But you basically take all your leftovers, and you you can puzzle piece them into a pattern or you can 
you know, brick them into a pattern or just lay the strips across the, some paper, adhere them to some paper, and you have a really unique and different background made with some leftover paper, basically. Now, I try to save all of the sketches that I use when I'm killing a paper pad, but uh, I got a little confused and the sketches got lost in between the cards and <laughs> I couldn't find them. But here's one Operation Write Home sketch that uh, apparently I only used to make one card, <laughs> but it's a lovely card. I used some mirror gold cardstock that I got at Michael's as the background for the paper and for the sentiment. And um, I love the mirror gold cardstock and I uh, it's affordable and it really adds a nice touch to your uh, cards. Here's a card sketch I use a lot from Operation Right Home. And uh, I've made tons of cards with this particular sketch. It just kind of really works. For the background, I used uh, a larger four by five and a quarter sheet of the paper and a smaller as the background to the sentiment. Again, there goes some more of my butterflies that I made with vellum and alcohol ink. And, uh, and ooh, it has a twin. <laughs> Let's move on to another Operation Write Home sketch and my interpretation of that sketch. I used, this is a uh, Stampin' Up! stamp set. Uh, I use it a lot just in black and white, but I decided to color them in just a little bit using some regular old markers. I think I probably used my Stampin' Up! markers. And uh, it just adds a really nice little touch uh, to have those colored in right there. Well, this is the place that I lost my sketches and I didn't know where they were. And uh, so I find them towards the end, but I'm just using some sentiments cut out with a circle die and my butterflies again, I separate two different patterns on the page by just a simple black strip of paper and it makes a lovely card. This next set is done with the banner as I guess one of the focal points of the cards. I made two more with uh, the sentiment on a banner and I've edited this video just to shorten it a little bit, but I'm completely lost when it comes to the um, card maps that I used. <laughs> this sentiment says, take the risk or lose the chance. It's a great sentiment. And I used some uh, gold mirror embossing powder on that one. This one is says, uh, be brave to try something new. Here's a sketch that's set on the horizontal, and uh, the cards I created, I created on the vertical. And I love the patterns in this particular sketch. I also, um, this is a punch from Stampin' Up! and it doesn't have uh, like a complement punch for the size of it. So I took another piece of black paper and just punched it out in black and then cut the scent of the black paper in half on the vertical and use that as the background and this one I used a circle as the background and I did some black uh, paper with white embossing. I really like the way these turned out with the white embossing. Here's the next sketch with the next set of cards. I decided to leave uh, the flower uncolored and I think it added a nice contrast with the not only the sentiment, but with the colorful background of cards. Well, that's it, folks. I killed this paper pad. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I really appreciate you stopping by. It makes my day. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. Bye!